All right, to reach the bottom, we're going to start from the giant pool to the six up out of the water. And from here, we're going to head about one and a half notches to the right of Northwest until we reach the Northwestern Blood Cup Forest or another Northern Blood Cup Zone, it's the same thing. Now going here for your vehicles, you want to bring either your Cyclops or your Prawn Suit is probably going to be your best bet to bring here. And you're going to make sure that it's fully upgraded because it's one of the deepest bombs in the game. So yeah, bring those vehicles. You're also going to bring your Stasis Rifle and a knife because this biome is a little bit dangerous. Not a, not, not a little bit, what did I just say? It's, it's very dangerous. In terms of hostile creatures that you'll run into here, you'll be running into the Ghost Leviathan, which you can use your Stasis Rifle against or a Shield generator on your cyclops you got the river prowler which can't damage your cyclops but you can hit it with a stasis rifle you got warpers which if they do teleport you you can hit with your knife or you can simply run away from them you got mesmers which will only affect you if you're outside of your vehicle and will try to sort of like hypnotize you but it's really easy to break out of you got bleeders which are like small parasites they sort of like latch onto your arm and all you really do is like hit them off you if they do latch onto you and once again they can only affect you if you're outside of your vehicle we got crab squids which can can disable your vehicle and they can damage the cyclops which is uh, obviously a problem so just try to be wary of them and you got blood crawlers which are very small they're sort of like cave crawlers but they're underwater all the time and they can sort of like jump up at you but again they can't damage you if you're in a vehicle and they don't really do much damage if you aren't in a vehicle anyways and they're also easy to kill so they're not that bad Okay, so once you reach the northern Black Phelps zone, like I'm in right now, you're going to look like just in between north and northeast, and you're going to head this way. You're just going to head straight for like a few meters, and you should see like this rock on your right, this giant little rock formation on your right. Once that, once you get past a certain point, you're going to stop. So I'm going to show you where. So whenever you look to the right, like once you're like right past the rock like this, and you can see sort of like the front of the rock, that's when you're going to stop. And then you're gonna look straight down, and you're gonna see that you're not gonna be able to see the bottom of the uh, 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 of the sea floor. And you're also gonna be able to see like this little, this like giant hole down there. You're gonna wanna head straight down. And you're gonna go all the way down until you reach the very bottom. All right, and once you have reached the bottom of the hole, you are going to want to look southeast to south, and you'll see, like, you'll, you can you can basically see the Lost River from right here. When going into this part of the Lost River, you're, you're not going to want to go to the right, and you're also not going to want to go to the middle, because the Ghost Leviathan sort of hangs around in that area. So you're going to want to head to the left. There's a whooper behind me. And now that we're in the Lost River, we can start going over the resources that you'll find here. All right, so this part of the Lost River is called the Ghost Forest. So in this part of the Lost River, you are going to be able to find, let's go on and take a look around. Magnetite is one of the first resources you'll be able to find. And you're also gonna watch out for this green stuff because this will hurt you if you go into it. So sandstone outcrops, they can contain gold, lead, or silver. And then you got shale outcrops here. Shale outcrops can contain gold, diamonds and lithium okay crystalline sulfur as well that's also good you got quartz you got rubies it should be all right man yeah, there there it is so we got nickel ore as well you can also find gel sacks in here as well and gel sacks are extremely useful as well so that's also pretty good you can also find diamonds in this part of the lost river you'll be able to find silver deposits as we can see there's one right there uh let's see we got titanium deposits i believe there's lead deposits because i remember seeing one on my way in so we got lead deposits right here which is also good and then you have nickel deposits and that's i believe that's all four so you got lead silver nickel and titanium deposits that you can find in this part of the lost river i believe that is about all you'll be able to find in this part of the lost river i believe hey, please get up out of here so this ghost of i can stop killing my ears all right yeah let's head on to the next part of the lost river all right moving on to the next part of the lost river we are in the lost river junction so in this part of the Lost River, the main outcrop that you'll be able to find are limestone outcrops, which can contain, again, copper or titanium. You can also find quartz on the ground. So we've got quartz that you can pick up. We got rubies. And you can also find urine. Uh, I don't know how to say this correctly, so I'm probably going to butcher it. Uh, uranite. Uranite. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. You can find these, the, the radioactive crystals. You can find these in this part of the Lost River as well. So that's also good. You can also find nickel ore, just like you could at the last spot. And you can also find crystalline sulfur here. Now, as far as resource deposits go, you'll be able to find gold deposits here. As we can see right here, this gold deposit. We got copper ore, copper deposits. I said copper ore. What? 
We got gold, copper deposits, we got silver deposits, nickel ore. We're also able to find titanium deposits here, and quartz deposits. Dang, that was the deposit I was, the one deposit I was looking for. Oh, you can find lead deposits as well, I didn't know that. Okay, well, lead deposits, and I believe that is about all you'll be able to find in this part of the Lost River. So with that, we can head on to the next part, which is going to be the Tree Cove, and that's where we're going to be going next. So first we have the radioactive crystals, you'll be able to find those here. Nickel ore, you'll be able to find. We got sandstone off props, which can contain gold, silver, or lead. We have gel sac, which are pretty good, pretty good. You also have deep shrooms, which are pretty good for your bioreactor. We got rubies all on the walls that you'll be able to find. You also have magnetite you'll be able to find. So that's also pretty good. Quartz is the other is the other uh resource that you'll be able to find that you can pick up, but I'm not I'm guessing it didn't spawn here in this specific save for whatever reason. And as far as the deposits go, you'll be able to find titanium deposits here. So we got titanium deposits, lithium deposits. We'll be able to find the large radioactive crystal deposits here. So also pretty good, super good, super good. Oh, there it is. And the last deposit you'll be able to find here are gold deposits. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good deposits you'll be able to find in this part of the Lost River. So that's also pretty nice. That is about all we will be able to find in this part of the Lost River. So with that, we can head on to the next part. Next part of the Lost River that we're going to talk about, which is going to be the Bone Fields. And starting off, we have the sandstone outcrops, which can contain gold, lead, or silver. You can also find ruby, ruby on the walls and on the floors. You can also find nickel ore, like you could in the other ones, other uh, areas. You've got quartz here. We also have crystalline sulfur on the floor, so that's also super good. Oh, okay. We also have diamonds. You can also find diamonds on the walls. So that's also super good. You'll be able to find gel sacks here as well. So that's also pretty good, pretty good. Diamonds. Okay, you also be able to find lithium here, which is also pretty good. Lithium that you can just pick up. So super good, super good. You'll be able to find lithium deposits here. You also got your, what is that? Nickel, I believe that's nickel. So we got lithium deposits, nickel deposits, gold deposit, the radioactive crystal deposit. You'll also be able to find your titanium deposits here. So that's also good. Oh, never mind. Okay, nope, there's a silver deposit right there. So again, silver deposit. And the only thing that didn't spawn was the magnetite unfortunately which is all all pretty good pretty good resources there's quite quite a lot that the boss river has to offer like in total just from this one biome alone which is kind of kind of crazy but it is a bigger biome so i i'd understand why and it's sort of it's sort of connected to the other biomes but yeah that's about all i had for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one peace